Hey everyone, welcome back to Halo Reach. Um, where the hell were we? Oh, right. Okay. Exodus. <laughs> okay, this level's good. There we go. Okay. Little destiny here. Bungie is also responsible for destiny, and this was their swan song, so that only makes sense. Spartan butt. Right. This is Kilo Dispatch. All available teams advance to Traxxas Tower. Evacuation will commence ASAP. Copy, Dispatch. What's the status of the tower pad? <laughs> tower pad is green. Let's move these civilians before it changes. Space techs in there. So something I wanted to mention. Um, George's death is particularly tragic. He's the only guy that's from Reach. That's why he speaks Hungarian. And he's also the only Spartan to not die on it. He's one of the few casualties that is not actually on Reach in the huge tragedy of Reach. Oh, man. Um, which is, again, why he knows Hungarian. He's from Reach. Uh, Reach was... I finally looked up why Reach is important, by the way, to remind myself. Um, Reach is one of the most populous planets in the galaxy, to the point that the Covenant were actually convinced that it was the human core world. Like, they thought it was Earth, they thought it was the home world. Ooh, my carpal tunnel is not doing me justice here. Or favors, rather. Romeo Company, be advised. We have reports of Covenant suicide squads. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, boy. Negative. Keep your eyes open, troopers. <laughs> Covenant suicide squads. Boom. Um. Sorry, Romeo right. Company, be advised. We have reports of Covenant suicide squads. You've got to be kidding me. So, with some kind of suicide squad? I've got to say, almost nothing is as bad as the time in Breaking Bad where someone says, You're Breaking Bad! God. Just instantly Kilo kill me. Shot. 
true lord. Although someone's saying the evil within, comma, two is pretty bad. This is a dope level, by the way. This is not a joke, but one time I was in Sunday school for the brief time when my mother was trying to force me into not being a heathen. Damn, I had armor lock, too. I just panicked. I locked up. And not in the way that I was supposed to. Okay, cool. Uh, but I was in Sunday school, and my sister is just flipping through the Bible, and she's like, well, that's kind of screwed up how they just throw the babies into rocks. And she flips to the chapter Exodus, and she says, oh, like that level in Halo. That's her frame of reference. And mine, too, but I didn't say it out loud because I thought I would look stupid. I was right. But luckily, I didn't look stupid. Someone else took that bullet for me, you know? One moment. All right. So, yeah, everyone is like, okay, so every plan didn't work. Come on, let's go. We just... Completely like screwed up the best plan that we had. Everyone's dead, so let's just get them all off planet. So yeah, their only plan now is to just get people to hell off this planet. And this is where the brutes show up. The Brutes are also known as Jural Hane, I believe their name is. Well. Uh, the Brutes are also called Jural Hane. They're known for being... Oh my god. Really, dude? Well, let's just see if this works. Right? Right? Why not? You know? What if it does? Wouldn't that be crazy? Hey, guys. See? Much better. Oh, man. Nothing else that'll help beat uh, help me beat a heavy retreat. I'm getting like all kinds of like desync or, or something. Oh come on! Halo legendary heroic lasso yay. This is a really bad checkpoint. I mean, as checkpoints go, I guess it's not the worst, but like, it's all the way back here. I find it difficult to believe that they couldn't have put another checkpoint in between here and then. I'm going to check my recording because I want to make sure I'm still recording. I am. And what about this? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm probably sh I probably shouldn't be exporting a video right now because uh, uh, Halo Miesta Chief is not exactly a graphics light game. You know, it is a 360 game and uh, good 10 or so years old by now. But there really is only so much that a gaming laptop can do, even a new one. Mine isn't really, like, top of the line, either. Damn, how do you stop that thing? It is good, but, you know. It's just not the biggest, damnest, freshest. Now we backtrack.
You guys need a union. No job should ever ask you to kill yourself, especially if they mean it completely literally. You know, that's not worth it. I don't care what the benefits are. No. Yeah, this is one of the first times where the Covenant uh, forces actually start using brunt, uh, brunt. Brutes. I try to say brutes and grunts at the same time. The Jirohane are um, strong as a Spartan in power armor or an elite with power armor without power armor. Um, they don't have energy shielding or stuff like that, which makes them a little weaker, but it's not really too much of an issue. Nope. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. Bastards. I think I remember seeing that the reload animation for this is longer. If you reload it before, it's empty. There you go. Yeah, I think it is. Jeez, that was gruesome. Repeater? Yeah. I don't really like the repeater. I would just prefer a laser, uh, uh, plasma rifle, rather. The fact that you can manually vent it is cool. I don't know. I just, I just like the rifle more, you know? I'm not an ardent gun owner or anything. But if I were to own a gun, I would love for it to be a plasma uh, rifle. They're just so reliable, you know? And there's probably some way to reload them. You know, the Coven don't, but that's probably just because they got so many resources, they don't feel like they need to. What you guys got? All right. Plasma pistol. I love this level, by the way. It's something where the Famine Skull that I'm pretty sure I have... Yeah. The Famine Skull is really shining. Because it's really, really forcing me to hot swap between all the weapons. Because I'd never get anything that's actually going to be able to carry me. Oh, dude. You just ran full-faced into that. That was your own fault. I couldn't have saved you. They don't make prosthetic tactical awareness. What's the word? Situational awareness. So the brutes, in some cases, are actually unarmored, which means that bullets kick ass against them, as do their own weaponry. The uh, brutes are kind of unique at the Covenant because they don't use uh, Covenant brand shit. Occasionally, the Covenant will give them power armor. Well, you know, energy shielded armor, just like the elites in the Spartans have. But they don't really need it to be tough since they already have so much, like, bulk on them. Um, so all the brute weapons are all about as brutal as them. So this is one, I believe it's the Spiker. They've got a pseudo rocket launcher called a Brute Shot. Both of those have uh, mounted melee weapons on them. Oh god, I got spurred instead of armor lock. Damn it. Not that good. I'll save the last one for myself. Uh, they also have a mauler, I believe it's called, which is kind of like a shotgun and kind of like a revolver and kind of like a, a grenade in someone's hand. Oh, hi. That'll do. Huh. 
And then, of course, they've got the Gravity Hammer, which I think does show up in this level, although I probably won't be able to use it much, considering that Brutes are usually better than me with a Gravity Hammer. I can, you know, I feel pretty solid about my ability to throw down with an Elite with an Energy Sword. I do not feel as strongly about the Gravity Hammer. So, in a uh, move that I love, Gravity Hammers were actually part of Brute Culture before uh, the Covenant showed up. They were just big fucking hammers, you know? Because in, in a barbaric, like, space orc, you know, they're space orcs, they're Krogans. In a space orc society, you know, the hammer obviously is a very important thing. You know, it's your cultural heritage weapon. Oh, guys. Making a Shrek noise there. Um, I forget what this symbol means, but I know it means something. Gotta itch my nose. Oh. That'll do. Let's see if I can empty this, though. I mean, I can, but let's see how well it can do for me. Alright, so it's not doing great. Anyway, um... After the Covenant just kind of gave Brutes, you know, energy shielding and space travel again, the Brutes just started crafting new weapons and shit. And one of those was the Gravity Hammer. It was a normal hammer, but it's just upgraded with a gravity engine, so... You could hit harder -er with it. And as you may be able to see, nearly all of these weapons also have spikes on them, which makes them do more melee damage. You may have been able to see it there, but they don't take too many hits anyway, even on heroic. Kill all jackals. We got Camus, Bacon, Lee, and Gaska. I got stuck here on Legendary for quite a while. I've had to hear that voice line probably about 40 times. Not an exaggeration. This level, I think, what took me the longest. It was uh, like three hours. It was absolutely embarrassing. Oh. Hey, honey. Wow. I can say that I have to move a little quicker. saying deploying. 30 times I never got that. Or however many it was. You can get him to, uh, you can get them to throw it short if you shoot them out of the animation. And then they just go parading past me. Okay. Actually, I still got sprints. That means that I can hustle. Oops. Now we hustle. Boop, boop, boop. I know that there's another med kit there, so I'm willing to take health damage, even if I don't necessarily need to. And shield damage comes back anyway. Um, I forget if, I forget what game it's in, but there are actually some games where you can see brutes holding uh, human shotguns, just because it's very, very on brand for them. Uh oh. If there was a guy I did not want to see. Oh. That wasn't so bad. Oh. It's 
Sorry for not talking. I've been recording all day. Kill all jackals. Give me that. Not that I want it, but I want you to have it. I want this. Uh, I'll, I will rock with this. It won't really do me too much good, but... Let me just check where my recording's at. This is another really long uh, level, so I might cut this one as well. I'm only at about 22 minutes for the episode, though, so that isn't too, too bad. Cool. We're going to go help out the ODSTs, the real heroes. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, this level, they kind of want you to use jetpacks. Actually, let me go back and fill up. I want to be as full as I can. DMR is indispensable. Radio's buzzing about you, Spartan. Do you feel like jumping? You know it, bro. Welcome to the bullfrog. Other side, on my mark. Three, two, one, jump. We're going to capture the landing pad on the executive wing to evac first and land. Try and keep up, Spartan. <laughs> Try and keep up, Spartan. I'm so mad at the UNSC for manufacturing that, like, pussy hiss fit between the Spartans and ODSTs. Like, let's, let's get it clear here. The Spartans are child soldiers, and the ODSTs are the real heroes who, you know, actually get shit done. Because no matter how rad the Spartans are, there just ain't enough of them, you know? Because they aren't really trained, they're made. And you can only make so many. It's one reason that I actually really do enjoy playing the game ODST. Ooh. Fuel rod cannon? You crazy? Checkpoint. Tell me how this feels. See, that's the thing about melee combat in a future game. Although it keeps getting better and better. I think people do want to just use hammers and stuff in... Like Overwatch, you know? Hell yeah. Now I take his hammer. Come around this corner. I love when the pieces of crystal break out of you. That ought to keep some heat off me. I can't wait for ODSC to come out on PC. I'm absolutely going to play it. Just so we're clear. Oh, it's you. <laughs> That's just offensive. I wonder... Because I know that um, in some Halo games, you actually have to find the skulls all over again. Uh, some of the ports, that is to say. Because, like... Halo 3 original, you have to go and find the skulls, you know? They're collectibles. But in ODST, out the box, I think, 
And if I remember correctly, Reach as well, you can just use the skulls. I really want to turn on Famine for every uh, Halo now, because having to like switch between weapons more is really, really cool. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that that was a brute shot there. Although it might have been something else. Let's see if I can wear him down. Nope, oh, looks like a concussed rifle. I'm not actually good at shooters, but I like to think that I am. Oh, I got them. I got another one, too. Jeez, that's really dangerous. I mean, yeah, no duh, but... Cripes. I don't really have anything that I can deal with that, either. I guess I could, like, pitch a grenade at him. This is the worst. Where did he go? What? <laughs> All right. My god is stronger than your devil, I guess. Hey, you know what? An ODST probably sniped him from atmosphere. The true heroes of Halo. You got it. When I was a kid, I got stuck here before. I was like, oh, right, they uh, gave me that jetpack, right. I was a dumb kid. Now I'm dumb and tall. Is that glass open? Nope, it ain't. You know... I do really like the armor ability system in this game. I think it's pretty well balanced, but I just really wish that sprint was a button and not an ability. There were so many people, myself included, who would give up the jetpack to have sprint because sprint is just boring, but it's practical, you know? It's one of those things where, like, yeah, it's just a big, unfortunate, like, side effect of faster movement usually just being betterer, you know? Okay, hold on. Give me this. Let's see if someone has a derm. No. Oh, there is a derm. Cool. Precisely what I wanted. I saw the rocket launcher. I don't know if I need it, though. I'll get it if I um need a vehicle, but I have the concussion rifle for heavier targets. And also, if I feel like it. Ooh, ooh. That was dumb. I seized it, but thank you. I hate those fucking things. There isn't a brute shot in this game. That might be why this guy did drop one. No, I need that. I'm honestly not trying to hit things. I'm just laying down covering fire. I don't really know if that's actually a mechanic in this game, nor how useful it actually is, but I'm doing it. I don't know what to say. Oh, you're welcome. I feel like you'll be better served with it. Also, you have infinite ammo. Damn. <laughs> now, where does this put me? <laughs> I'm just, like, kind of jumping him, you know? Yeah, you give me th that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to double back and grab something else. Oh, this might be good. There's a lot of unarmored targets, I believe. Actually, why not? Oh my god, famine affects this too. I can only assume that's why it only has this many. I'll be frank here, that isn't great. Get 
kill him. It's like a plasma repeater. Whoa. Yeah, something kind of neat. The uh, grunts actually have a unique plasma rifle. It's not different stat-wise, but they just have a different one. You know what? I do want him to have that. I want as many of these people to survive as possible, and I feel like they'll be better armed with a rocket launcher. You know, the bigger an explosion gets, the more problems it solves. You know, for a given value of solving a problem. Coming back for you. All right. Watch out, Benny. Oh, and a brute. Oh, it's that guy with a repeater. That was the dude with the rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, uh, <laughs> that was great. This level's good. I really like... Because this is, this is the extended war scene, like, as a level. And I dig that. Um, you know, it has to be done well, obviously. But I do really like scenes where it's like, yeah, this is what war's like. And you know what? It's very, very futile. What a futile, if you prefer. Sorry, bro. <laughs> he left one for me. Rip in peace. You know, why do civilians in video games gotta do that? Why do they gotta run at you like they're an enemy? What happened? I think I got stuck. All right. Now, this isn't particularly useful because both of my weapons are very, very short range. One being a hammer and the other being a shotgun that is very video gamey, if I will. Damn. I just gotta get footsie on him. Or you know what? Let's be proactive. There we go. Now I'm the ultimate life form. And one hand is one of the longest range sniper rifles known to human or alien. And the other, a hammer that can hit about four feet in front of me on a good day. An unbeatable technique. What the hell is the point of this room? It's just a room. It doesn't even have any furniture. Ooh, we're dropping frames. Oh, you're dead, bro. Rip. Oh, damn. I was trying to save it. Hey, that guy's still alive. With a concussion rifle. Actually, wait. You. That's not great. Oh. This is uh, one of the final hurdles of the level. No, it isn't. There's another big one. I forgot about that. 
so much overkill to use a single swing of the hammer on a grunt. <laughs> that concussion rifle, though. Oh, I'm shooting it. Okay, where's my checkpoint? Because that's very important. Okay, that's good. This is perfect, actually. Because now I can save another ODST. Ideally, I mean. Here, give me that. Now I take this. And I get this other one. You got it, bro. <laughs> We're just cleaning house up in this one, huh? Oh, die. He's alive. Damn! That was a valiant attempt, though. Alright, now... Damn. I'm just going to sit here, you know. It's such a silly bonk animation, you know. No. Let's try the front door this time. Hey, thanks. Yeah, you need better gear, dude. Ooh, that was a nice double kill. My defenses are impregnable, and my style is impetuous. Okay, see, if I can get out on him, which isn't likely, granted. Hmm. That was uh that was dumb. Got to do the checkpoint again, huh? Yep. Please, dude. No, that. Hey, yeah, what about you? Now, let's just see about this. Maybe it'll be very effective. No. 
Jesus Christ. I just saw my life, my son, and my, like, grandson's life flash before my eyes. Oh, I love this gun. I love when you shoot things and nothing happens with it. You know? There's another floor? Uh-oh. 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 Yo. Odin's with me. Odin is fucking with me. <laughs> Bro, alright. All right, let's waste these two shots. And by waste, I obviously mean use it. And now, I will go back and grab this hammer. Birds are away. Right. Checkpoint should be coming up here. I'm going to check the recording. B B B B B. How does my voice look on the waveform? How does my voice look? Ah! Okay, it looks good. Um, let me give you this. I know. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter what my loadout is because I've got a turret. Negative. I've got the gun. I data more than was really necessary on this when I played on Legendary, so I just want to be careful when I'm doing it on a Heroic. This is one of the real, really, like, watershed scenes in, like, the nascent view of war is bad in Halo. Because, like, like, just look at that fucking scene earlier where there's just a billion, billion, like, trucks and trains and helicopters and space planes just all flying around and shooting things and it's like yeah war it's so cool and then you see this and it's a bunch of soldiers trying and failing to save a bunch of civilians and a bunch of civvies failing to escape this like racist genocidal regime And, like, everyone on, on the ships is just like, hey, I gotta go. There's a bunch of people with me. It's like, we don't have enough people to make sure you're not gonna get shot to death. Like, your option is to wait or die. Or wait and die. Oh my and, like, sure, six is kicking ass. Six a kicking ass, but that's only because he's a Spartan. And we're running out of Spartans anyway. Oops, sorry. Those are civvies. Those are our friends. That was stupid of me. Got a little uh, APD there.
You know it. All right, now I should be able to handle this. Let's, um, you guys gonna get in? Okay, they're just gonna go. Good, I love that. I got here on Legendary and it just didn't go anywhere. Is that a little grunt in there? Ah, uh, a little boy. This is dumb. This is really dumb. Okay. That's not a good sign. I'm watching my motion tracker with my other eye here. Okay. The two wraiths here killed me a bunch as well. It's another reason this whole level took me like multiple hours. Let me get that for you. Is that a Spartan laser, bro? I'm gonna let you keep that, but like... Hey, get some shit done with that, right? Please. Oop, get to cover, get to cover. Bip, 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 bip. Right, if I remember, there's a lot of... Um, needle rifles on this map, which should allow me to handle myself once this DMR runs dry in one shot. Oh, he just came up and knocked me on the top of a head. That dude just played whack-a-mole with my body. That was a little extreme, I think. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. That one, that one can't happen. There. That was... Steve Bloom? That was military precision. Oot, oot, cha. <laughs> Man... I would just, in in Legendary, there were just Marines that would just stand there and not do anything. It drove me absolutely bananas. Like, they would start up, like, be getting shot and stop moving. Okay, I think that there's something I want up here. Okay, there's the objective. Oh, get fucked. Yes. I want that. I want this. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. This is all this is all good. Nope. You're damned right I am. Nothing so subtle as a man invisible but holding a rocket launcher. Wait, that's it? Uh, no, I'm good actually. Thank you, though. Was that all I got? Famine, bro. This is not fair. Ooh, okay. That's gonna make it uh, more difficult. Could have given them one of these as well. And of course I grabbed the little one, not the one with ammo. Alright. First gun's on though. Oh, you're not who I wanted to see.
Another hammer brood over there. I've got to clear this out. Got to be aware of the wraith down there as well. This is going much better. That's gonna be the level. That's it, battery prime. Now get over to the East Complex and fire those missiles. Sergeant Major, the cubbies are almost through my door. Steady Echo 3. That Corvette is still up there. We got him. <laughs> we got him. All right. Just sprinkle a little more on there. Oh, just you guys? Pity. Wow. Oh, we're in it now, huh? There's you. <laughs> I love how I drop frames every time I swing this thing. That's how you know you got a real good weapon on your hands. Oh, I thought it would have been the brute. <laughs> that grunt died harder than almost anyone ever had. Okay. You cannot show up. Damn, I could have ended it right there. That would have been the level. Hey, guys. Damn. Right, I can't. Oh, careful, bro. I almost shot you. Peter. All right. I think the only guy left is you. There's two of them. Jeez. All right. Next, if I get the chance to go for the button, I'm just going to go. Which I may. But now I've also got more hammer uses. Does this still run? It does. Perfect. Nothing else that makes one hell of a mobile turret. Or an action bomb. Well. A heroic attempt to say the least. But unfortunately. Okay. That'll do nicely. He's probably wondering where the hell his friends went. I think these bastards are reading my inputs. <sighs> All right. Wait, who? someone got in it. Interesting. 
Alright, guys. I cleared as much of the way as I could with a rifle, but... There goes one. Alright. Not a really big brute, though. I would have liked to have seen the hammer ones die. Speak of the devil. Oh, there's the one with the plasma around. That was really dangerous. <laughs> that was so dangerous. Who needs strategy when you've got superior firepower? That's the level. Hell yeah! <sighs> and how long was the recording? Let's check. One hour. Clean. Also, if I remember correctly, Reach actually has a bunch of Forerunner ruins. The Forerunners will become more important in the next few games, as well as in um, the next trilogy, but... Oh, man. This is a good level. But hey, that's the end of the episode. That's been Halo Reach. That was a pretty good attempt. Thank you for coming. I've been Alfred, and this has been Halo Reach. Stay curious.